So next question is, Joel, can you explain what is the difference between Hochschule, mm -hmm. which is Applied Sciences University, where you're studying right now, versus TU, mm. which is Technician University? The main big difference is in TUs, you'll have to be self-organized. What I mean with that is like you choose the course, you particularly choose the professor under, under whom you want to do the course. Really? And, and you will be sitting along with say 300 students sometimes 400 students sometimes 100 students it's a very big very very big auditorium so like you'll be sitting with them and learning it's like just the way how you say it in movies you know really yeah wow imagine you got yourself in that kind of situation if you have a doubt or something it is not so easy to just mm -hmm. put your hands up and ask until <laughs> unless you're really the guy oh, who's going who's gonna have the potential important question that you ask which is like which going to be which is going to benefit the session as well as the professor <laughs> You really can't, yeah. So, so I would say that those are something you will have to know before even applying for universities. So sometimes TUs are, are like for guys who are like self-organized, extra nerdy, extra nerdy, extra smart. So much theoretical. They'll have to keep a lot of theoretical knowledge. They write exams. They write papers and all these things. And applied science is a bridge between the guy from. Who, like in Germany they have three three ways of learning yeah one is like they do this Ausbildungs like Ausbildungs yeah. are like you could do vocational courses and train yourself to be a to do on practical to do practical stuffs for example right regardless of whatever background you come from or something like you could do anything like for, for a welding course painting there is photography everything and this TU is like he is completely theoretical he's the one who's like who does a lot of research papers putting things and all these things so it is like that and the guys who study in applied sciences are the guys who bridge the gap between these persons and these these technical guys. For example, okay. if you, I'm just giving an, uh, the statement what my professor told me actually. If you leave this practical guy and the technical guy, they would they wouldn't be able to talk. <laughs> like they have nothing because what he did is completely different from what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So what an applied science student does is he 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 has at least of course. This applied science guy wouldn't be learning everything what a TU guy learns, but he has a practical knowledge on this as well. So 50-50. So it's like 50% of practical knowledge and 50% of... That is why they say applied sciences. You have lab, lab practicals. Yeah. You have a lot of... So me being a design engineer, coming from a design background, I wanted some kind of, you know, a practical knowledge, not sure. just sitting in some classroom and just writing down theorems and going nerdy. It just gets know? monotonous, right? Yeah, After exactly. a point... No, right there are students who do that as well so for sure i mean <laughs> definitely yeah 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 i mean everyone has a way of learning yeah because if if a guy who scores 95 percent and not less than that in any semester would because also to get into tu the tu ninth whole of uh, germany, TU germany nines, yeah. and everybody is like such a tough competition to get in there you have to be really really bright student right exactly to and get into tu nine yeah hochschule which is you said more of a practical approach uh, versus TU is more of a theoretical approach. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so people, people choose your unique way, what you are good at. If you're good in theoretical studies and all these things, go, go with but TU. But nothing university. is wrong. Both ways are right. Yeah, yeah. Right. There's nothing wrong completely. There's nothing wrong because in the process, to get yeah. an admission in Germany is already something you know. That itself is a big every thing, right? every bachelor guy is thinking. Can you talk a bit more about the subjects what you are learning right now? Yeah, first semester. Yeah, and yeah, coming back to the point in TU universities you choose the subjects and you choose in which semester you want to do that and if you're not able to do that you're done for the life you know it's like you'll have it's, it's like it's like living the same moment again you know it's like in, in American films but in hope in computers in, in applied universities Hochschulers first semester at least in my university first semester has been already designed with a lot of knowledge like what kind of a student comes from in in what background he comes from so it's like for example for me for the first semester we have already six subjects which is lot i would say which are which are first one is advanced fluid dynamics that is that is in english and we have robotics mechatronic system then productions technique that is manufacturing technology in india right and then we have numerical mathematics that is like numerical maths numerical mathematics yeah and then we have software and Wiklung where you program where you learn a programming right then what else you have have i said all the six yeah that's that's those are the courses which i so learned. yours is more 70% uh, english 30% german course 
No, 70% German and 30% English course. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, but you know, it's like when you see this proper German comes into courses like manufacturing technology, like Produktionstechnik, that is completely in German. And that is where student finds it difficult. You know, it's like, it's not so easy to clear it off or something. How much are you paying right now? I pay nothing. Nothing? Yeah, I have a free course, yeah. Right, and what about semester fees? Semester, semester? fees you pay, yeah, exactly. Semester fees you pay around 310, 310 euros, 309.86 euros. Right. So that is like only for the, your tickets, for which means like your transportation. travel transportation ABC it's like completely Berlin it's been taken care of for that card so it's like that is like 81 euros you'll have to pay if, if not a student's like then mm -hmm. what would what how much would it cost like six eights are 48 480 euros already so you're saving that by this 306 euros so you pay that and then you get a semester ticket by which which is also your travel ticket in the city. Yeah, exactly. And, and that is all. That is actually the semester fees that you pay just for your car, just for the the other stuffs. You know, it's like for all the equipments they give us or something. And three hundred euros is nothing actually. Three hundred euros when you calculate with Indian money, it's a, it's like two thousand, like yeah, twenty four thousand I guess. Right. For six months, yeah. Joel, can you explain us what subjects did you study in bachelor's? Bachelor's, the mechanical engineering. I learned all the six subjects which I which I'm doing now. Like mm, those for example, what? advanced fluid dynamics. I learned it as in different ways. For example, we had thermodynamics, we had uh, fluid element analysis, finite element analysis, and uh, fluid dynamics. So it's like everything, basic things, and everything right. is put together as now. Like I learned it as I've day. You know, advanced fluid dynamics, where I learn. Where, where all my knowledge in from bachelors are put together so that is much more easier for me to understand the subject so which is why actually they they have they choose you based on your bachelors or based on your previous qualification educational qualifications so even i wanted to apply for fatsag technique that is like uh, automobile engineering they said joel you have you have had only your Mechanical, mechanical because if you're if you're a guy from automobile engineering it would be fine but now i find it it's it's super cool because uh i the more you are you're not reducing yourself the more you have opportunities to learn different fields like re you, now i have really it's like for example i learned mechatronics where i design circuits like where we where we learn where we know how to design circuits how we know the 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 clouding sur surfaces how, how how they work and all these things so I would say mechatronics, mathematical field, numerical mathematics, robotics. This kind of vast field wouldn't be given to any other guy who takes anything very particularly, I would say. Now I could get into an automobile company, I would get into any uh, nuclear reactor company or something like that with my uh, fluid dynamics and all these things with blade designs. I, would, I could also go into aeronautical field okay. and, and the coming semesters. I have dynamical system related su subjects, but now I don't want to talk more technical now. I don't want to put all my subjects now. Because, no problem. I because think. I think that those are all later stages where you sit and decide which subjects right. you Right. The first stage like. itself is getting an admission in university, you know. Yeah. So, uh, thanks a lot for uh, taking your time out and sharing your experience here. Come so, on, <laughs> You have to thank me. It's just that. Come on guys, uh, at the end of it, I'm saying this with all humbleness because I'm a guy like uh, I don't feel like okay I have achieved something I would like to say or something like that because I might be wrong also in whatever things which I've told. It's just the way how I could help my dear brothers in India, just right. the way how you feel. Right, right. Yeah. Or sisters in India. One thing I just, Joel actually surprised me by saying this is if you guys have questions, um, you see this Instagram on the screen directly. It's his uh, Instagram account. You can directly post all your questions to him So don't need to put it down in the comments directly shoot the question to him 